So here we want to find the index of refraction for this transparent material. So what we're looking for is in for this material. So we start by taking a good look at what's going on. Now there's a light source and it's emitting a light. So the light must be going from the light source to the block. So we know that this is the incoming ray. So I'm going to draw a ray. I'm going to highlight it, draw a little arrow. We know that that is the incoming ray. Alright, and then I'm going to switch colors. Notice that there is some light that is reflecting off of the boundary of this transparent material. So this is actually the reflected ray. And notice that the angle, if we were to draw the normal, so let's draw the normal really fast. The normal is this perpendicular line that is perpendicular to the surface of the boundary. So here's the surface of the boundary. We want something parallel to that. So we're going to draw 90 degrees right here. And that is our normal. All right, so notice that we are 10, 20, 30, 40 degrees away from the normal in our incoming ray. And then we are also 10, 20, 30, 40 degrees away from the normal in the, ref the angle of reflection. So notice that our angle of incidence is equal to our angle of reflection. Now, we also notice down here that we have an outgoing ray. So even though some of the light is being reflected and bounced off the boundary for at, at 1, some of it is refracting through. The reason that we can't see it is because the material is transparent. So here is our refracted ray. And then we have an outgoing ray here as it exits the block. So I'll just label that outgoing. All right, so if the objective, objective is to find the index of refraction when we're going through this new material, well, if we start in air, we know its index of refraction is essentially 1. Okay, it's 1.00029 something, but we're going to call it 1 for right now. And then if we were to use Snell's Law, we have to use N1 times sine of the angle between the incoming ray and the normal. So in this case, between the incoming ray right here and the normal, so look at the pink area, it's 40 degrees. So we'll plug that in a second. And then the second side of the formula is the index of refraction for the second material. So this N2, that's what we're looking for, times sine the angle of the outgoing or the refracted ray right here between that and the normal. So notice for the second angle we are looking for something right here between the orange normal line and this aqua colored um, refracted line. So we'll go ahead and plug in what we know. Index of refraction in air is 1 and then sine 40 degrees equals the index of refraction that we're looking for sign, and then we need to look at the angle. I'm going to zoom in a little bit just so we can get a better look at what the angle is. Alright, so from the normal, looks like we have 10, 20, maybe 21 or 22 degrees. We'll call that 22 degrees. And then we just solve for what we're missing. So we're going to pull our calculator. The first most important thing to remember is that we need to be in degree mode. And then we'll do sine 40. We can multiply it by 1 if we wanted to. Um, divided by sine 22. And that will give us our index of refraction, which is 1.72.
and that's our answer. Now, I have another problem. Um, if you would like to practice, go ahead and freeze the video and try to work out on your own what the transparent material is. So uh, while you're working, I'm briefly going to pull up the chart for index of refraction. So we'll go ahead and solve this really fast. We have the incoming ray, which is coming from the light source. And then we have the outgoing ray, or not outgoing, but reflected ray. And then we have the outgoing ray here at number four. So notice that some of the light, although it's being reflected, there's another portion of the light that is being refracted. So whenever we go to measure our angles, we actually want the ones that are in between the normal. So let's go ahead and mark our normal really fast. If this is the boundary, the material, the normal would be perpendicular to that. And we want the angle between the incoming ray and the normal, so this is theta 1, and the outgoing or refracted ray and the normal. Okay, now this could be considered the outgoing ray, but as far as comparing it to the ray that it came from, we're looking at this one right here. Okay, so we're going to use Snell's Law. We know that we're coming from air, so the index of refraction is 1. Sign the angle here, so it looks like we are uh, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, something like 56. And then that is equal to the index of refraction for the second material, sign the angle that it is away from the normal, which is about 20. So we're going to go ahead and plug that in. Sine 56 divided by sine 20, and we get an index of refraction of 2.4. So if we were to look at our chart, um, the material that has an index of refraction of about 2.4 is diamond. So if we were to match this to a material that we had an index of refraction for, it would be diamond.